right behind us is Cuba Shawkin. He's on loan to us from Poland. Gene Torres is our bassist, on loan to us from Brooklyn. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is our alto saxophone player, Jorge Sylvester. We immigrated to the United States from Panama. And I'm an immigrant. Yay! All right, I'm an immigrant. <laughs> <laughs> Walden, Marky Walden Ricks, our trumpeter. Peter Lynn, our trombone player. The renowned Bob uh, Neil Clark, our percussionist special guest for the night. And Mark Johnson, well known drummer, is also joining the specialty this evening for this performance. So you, you now met all of us. Can you introduce yourself? <laughs>
Caracas. Olha o quanto você vem? Caracas. Esse calo não precisa ser colocado. Agora eu vou fazer isso. Cabe em si só. The words mean um, don't cry. It's just it's addressed to a man named Kao Jali. It says don't cry, Kao Jali, when you think about the past.
Hello, my name is George Brandon. I'm the founder and director of Blue Unity Music, Blue Unity Press. I was born and raised in the United States and the culture that I represent of that is that of African Americans in the United States, as well as those of the African diaspora, since the Caribbean, Western Central Africa, from which African American culture in the United States derives. Blue Unity promotes cultural heritage through creating and producing events, performances, and knowledge sharing situations based on African American history, aesthetics, and cultural traditions. For me, Afro-America participates in a multi-continental, multicultural field that spans time and space, but from which we are viewing it from our perspective, that of African Americans in the United States. Our missions are fivefold. One, to promote the legacy and ensure the future of African and Afro-diasporic musical composition and the cultural and spiritual concepts and values that should undergird it. Two, to present programs and experiences in which audiences can both observe and participate. Three, to develop programming and educational efforts that accelerate the social transmission broadening and elevation of musical tastes. Four, to developing new vocabulary and images that speak to different segments of the jazz and new music audiences of our time. And indeed, to anyone who can see, hear, sense, and feel. Lastly, Blue Unity Music endeavors to discover, support, and create new spaces, venues, and contexts and events for new musical experiences. Blue Unity is not and never has been really a membership organization. People are in Blue Unity because they participate in what we do. Blue Unity really started in Baltimore, Maryland in the mid 1980s, while I was a professor in African American Studies Department and in Anthropology at UMBC. At first, it was a jazz group that participated in experimental music and did anti-apartheid work. Some people from that era still support us and consider themselves proud members, but it's really more like a far-flung community or network. Blue Unity has always collaborated and cooperated with other communities and networks that share its orientation and its principles. And just as Gautama Buddha spoke of his own teaching, saying that just wherever you place your finger in the ocean, it has the same taste of salt water, so it was with his teaching, it had one taste, and that taste was that of suffering and release from suffering. This is actually the meaning of blue unity, as it is found within the African-American cultural forms of the blues and spirituals. And it, it's about the same thing. It's about suffering and the release from suffering. So that's at the root of what blue unity tries to do. Blue Unity has a number of ensembles inside of it. There's the Blue Unity Orchestra, which is the big band. There's the Blue Unity Sextet, which is the one that you'll be seeing videos of this evening. There's also Blue Unity Sound World, which is a multimedia, intermedia platform. But regardless of what ensemble you're seeing, there's, com there's a commonality to what we try to do. And that's actually to Defy category. The function outside of genres. We try to open up a new open space where things at a different aspects of African American tradition can happen before an audience. Blue Union likes to swing, but also creates specially themed works relating to issues of spirituality, history, and social justice. The unity has always been ethnically and racially diverse, multicultural and inclusive. Since moving from Baltimore to New York in 1989, Blue Unity ensembles have performed at colleges, churches, experimental performance spaces and community centers, such as the Harlem School of the Arts, City College of New York, the Alchemical Theater Lab, the Medicine Show Theater, New York Open Center, Trinity Church, All Souls Unitarian Church, Goddard Riverside Community Center, which is where the videos 
in tonight's watch party we were initially filmed, a Red Tape Performance Space, Local A02, American Federation of Musicians, Union Hall, and the New York City Multicultural Festivals. Other services that Blue Unity provides include lectures and workshops related to African and African American culture and spirituality, ceremonial officiant services for culturally based weddings and funerals, and sign meditations. We work primarily in English, and African American culture is significant on the world stage globally, as well as in national festivals such as uh, Pinksters, Juneteenth, and Martin Luther King Day. Since Blue Unity is not a 501c3 nonprofit organization or a membership organization for years, it's been operating, operating out of a combination of occasional grants, donations, income from, from my own personal funds, service fees, and product sales. In her early years in New York, I funded Blue Unity act activities out of the George and Annie Brandon Family Memorial Fund which was money that was I inherited from, from my parents when they died, which I used both to sponsor medical student scholarships at City College of New York, as well as the activities of, of Blue Unity. Since I insist that Blue Unity performers always be paid for their work, funding is a constant problem. So Blue Unity is in need of financial assistance and development and some kind of restructuring particularly since I'm getting older now, I can no longer do everything myself. Nonetheless, there are several project initiatives in the future for Blue Unity. I want to generate and collect a body of jazz compositions from continental African jazz composers and present them in a theme concert. I've begun working closely with organizations that promote the involvement of people Af of African descent in contemporary classical and experimental music. And I'd like to increase the visibility of Blue Unity Press through new publications, reissues, and increased distribution. If you are interested in, help us in helping us in any of these endeavors, please contact the New York African Chorus Ensemble and they will get to me. We can certainly use some volunteers and people who have the expertise to help us raise money. I'd like to thank you for watching our watch party, which has been part of the 13th annual New York City Multicultural Festival. We hope that you have enjoyed our presentation as much as we have enjoyed bringing it to you. So let's all do our part to bring about a much needed healing in, in the world. You can save the world. It certainly needs it. Bye for now. Odavo. Peace.